Employers might hesitate when they interview someone whose language skills are not, um, um, they might think of proficiency, they might think of fluency, they might not even know what they're hearing, but they might hear a different accent, they might hear a storyline that sounds a little bit different, they might hear word choices that might be a little bit different, and all of that might concern them because they're thinking about fit. Employers are concerned about fit. Um, so language proficiency is definitely a concern. Uh, what employers might not know is that many internationally educated health professionals have already gone through a pretty lengthy process to determine whether they're ready for the workplace. So they may have gone through a number of language tests, they may have gone through a number of different training programs, and the internationally educated professionals themselves are really surprised when they arrive at an interview and they don't find themselves uh, su uh, successful in that situation. And I think that what um, one of the things that would really help an internationally educated health professional is to have an, an HR professional who's interviewing them to have some sensitivity to those issues. Because when you're speaking to someone who will eventually be working with you, you want to learn about their background experience, you want to learn about their skills, you want to learn about their ability to work with others. And depending on where they come from, they might have a slightly different storyline that might not sound like the regular Canadian answer, but there might be some really good gold nuggets in there that you want to listen for.